Hello Gemini, welcome to your monthly tarot reading here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is for the month of February 2023. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. Now this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I'm providing, okay? Remember that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And look at that, we've got the Eon or Judgment, the Rebirth, Reawakening, Baptism by Fire. I like that card a lot. Let's put that into some context with our Dove and Serpent spread. And trying to keep everything organized and straight and nice for that overhead camera. And we're going to do our mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card, leaving that right there. Not touching that until the end. Okay, so stick around to the end of the video. I promise I'll try to make it kind of short. Um, I don't think we really need a whole lot of discussion about this. It feels like it's a really, really wonderful time in your life right now. I think there are good things going on. We've got some court cards. One, two, three court cards. We've got some majors. We've got some water, some air. The air is going to be the challenge, I think. We've got more air over here. We do have some fire and, and the court cards and stuff. So it feels like a, a pretty decent balance. So I think it's a little heavy on the air, to be honest with you. Um, we've got this Eon or Judgment card. I think that you are someone who is ready. Um, I think that you are right on the, the cusp, right on the threshold of stepping into the rest of your life. I think that you've been feeling a buildup of this fiery energy for a long time, and it's really now time to hit the green light to go for it. Whatever it is that you've been um, on the verge of doing, whatever you've been kind of thinking about doing, now's the time. I feel like you've kind of been uh, suspended a little bit in this, um, like right at the doorstep of something. And it's like, you need that little extra push to get through the door. So I wonder what it is that you've got going on, because I, I don't feel that you're someone who really hesitates, but I feel like right now you're just like, you're just about to do it and you just, you need to take that last breath, or maybe you just need that, that little nudge to get through this door. Uh, but I think in all respects, you're ready for this next phase of your life, this new era for you. So something is, something's going on with you right now that's really a big deal. Okay. And what I think it is, to be honest with you, is this partnership, this real connection that you have with someone. Um, we have there, I have a little idea who this might be. Um, but there is such an intense connection with this person. I feel like you're right on the doorstep now of kind of, uh, of finalizing this union, right? It could be something uh, like a major step could be just, um, you know, getting involved with this person uh, in general. It could be taking things to the next level, like moving in or becoming exclusive or marriage or something like that. I feel like there's a very strong connection here. I feel like whoever this person is, it was love at first sight. It was an intense chemistry, sparks, deep emotional connection, spiritual connection. I feel like this is someone who is very um, reciprocating. The love and affection that you give out, they're giving it right back to you. It just feels so balanced, so equal, so intensely uh, pleasurable and satisfying for you. But there is still that little hesitation, right? There's still that, um, you need that little nudge, okay? Maybe this tarot reading will be that nudge. That, that would make me very happy, honestly, because I feel like this is really a, uh, a really a good good prospect for you. I, whoever this person is, I feel like they are, they're just as in love with you as you are with them. Okay. But let's take a look around some of these other cards. Um, we're going to go to the bottom here, uh, to this eight of swords. I feel like you tend to overthink things. That could be why we're at the doorstep of this thing and you haven't already rushed through the door. I think you tend to get in your own way. I think your thoughts kind of have a tendency to wrap you up, right? You get a little bit wrapped up in these, in your thoughts, in your uh, analysis of something like this, okay? Um, when it comes to matters of the heart, the head doesn't really, doesn't really have a whole lot to say, right? But yours seems to have a lot to say. Um, I think this is your thinking getting in the way of your feeling, 
um, I think that you do have a tendency to to spend too much time analyzing things. So it's like you're right on that doorstep, but you've you're you're getting your your paper, you're getting your binder out, you're flipping through the pages to kind of to think about things and look at things again and do the math all over again and stuff. And I just feel like you're getting too wrapped up in that. Too wrapped up maybe even in the like pros and cons kind of list or just like you know, it's it's almost like there's a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other and they're just having a really long involved conversation and you're just like, okay, hurry up. I've got things to do. And that's kind of your head and your heart. It's like there's there's the battle going on there. And um, th it's interesting, though, because I don't feel like there are any practical, logical, rational things that are in the way of this union, this relationship. But I feel like you're kind of making those issues, right? I feel like you're, you're creating problems that aren't really there. Or you're going through scenarios, you're going through uh, potential complications that aren't really there and you're kind of stalling things out because of this overthinking right you're creating this kind of tangled web of of thoughts around you and i think you're getting in your own way because i don't think that these are actually there right i think you're creating these issues that that don't need to be created in the recent past though maybe this is going to help us out with why why this is we have the Magus, Mercury, the Magician, the Juggler, the Trickster here in the recent past. I think you have been deceived in the past. I think that maybe um, you didn't think things through enough with some past relationship and you got burned. Okay. And now you're overcompensating. Now you're like, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make that mistake again. And so you're overcompensating. You're overthinking, overanalyzing. Because in the past, yes, somebody, um, somebody deceived you, somebody, somebody hurt you, um, somebody was not honest with you, and you feel that you could have prevented that, or you could have, you could have either prevented that situation, or you could have overcome that situation better, had you been a little bit more uh, analytical about it. You know what I mean? A little bit more logical, rational, use your head instead of your heart. So it could be that you kind of feel betrayed by your heart a little bit because it it overpowered your mind, your logical thinking, your rational thinking, and then you got burned. Okay, And I'm really sorry that happened to you. And I can understand how now you want to make sure that doesn't happen again. So there's this kind of rather unconscious tendency to overdo it, to overthink, right? To create problems that aren't there just so you don't miss anything, you know? Um... Above everything, we see this princess of cups. I wonder if it's a water sign person that you have these feelings for. Um, none of these cards are gender specific, okay? I just want to make sure I point that out. This is a princess of cups, but this could be a masculine energy. It could be a feminine energy. There's, there's, it's not gender specific at all, okay? It's just talking about the energy. And the energy here, it feels like a rather new relationship. I think this is somebody that you don't know very well. Okay, could be a new person that you've met. Maybe you've known them for a little while, but the relationship is just getting started, I think. Okay, but it could be that you feel so intensely about it, all this fiery energy is built up now, that you're ready to take it to that next level. Whether that next level is, you know, consummating the relationship or becoming exclusive or taking it all the way to marriage or, you know, whatever it may be. You're ready to kind of solidify all of this, all of this love energy. Right, but you need that little nudge because you're still you're still in all of this air energy. Uh, so I feel like it's a rather new relationship. Uh, it's not somebody that you've known for a long time, and so you don't have that history with them. You don't have that experience of them. You feel like you still need to get to know them. And we're right back here to this Eight of Swords. Right, there's just too much of this uh, analysis going on. But I feel like they, they really have the same feelings for you. I don't see any signs here that there, there's anything really getting in the way of this except your own, your own mind, okay? Uh, what we see in the immediate future, thankfully, is a four of swords. This, I think, is you kind of calling an end to all of this overthinking, right? There's going to be a point in the near future, next few days, where you're just like, okay, enough is enough. I've made my decision. 
I'm putting the paperwork away, putting the calculator and the protractor away, and I'm done analyzing this thing. Okay, putting the, the magnifying glass away, whatever you use, right? Um, you've come to the resolution that you need to you need to do something. You need to make a move. You need to decide to make a move or decide not to, but you can't just stand on the threshold, right? So we've got the four of swords really is is cutting all of this eight in half and becomes a four. So it's you're becoming a little bit more focused, a little bit more centered now. You're starting to use your powers for good instead of evil. You are um, you're you're cutting back on the analysis. I don't think it's completely over. I think you still are a very logical, rational kind of left-brained person, and um, you you're never going to give that up, you know. But you need to at least cut it in half. And I think that's what you're doing in the next few days. So that's good. I think that's that's really good. Moving to the path of the serpent now, I'm always tempted to move the cards over like I used to, but now we're gonna leave them right here so you all can see what I'm seeing here. So we're going directly into some more air energy, right? Five. This is a five. This is your general energy. You're worried, okay? I think you're worried that you're gonna be deceived again. And so this is kind of, a, this is an emotional card. This is kind of saying that there are these thoughts that are going to start stirring up things again in you. And it's going to be like a, re, a, a remembering. It's going to be a memory of this past thing where you did get burned. And it's going to be difficult to fight these kinds of thoughts away. Okay. And that probably is something that you're already aware of. I don't know that it really needs to be said. But you're someone who um, can get wrapped up in this thinking to the point where it starts to affect you emotionally, right? It starts to kind of, you feel overwhelmed, right? Spirit is down here on the bottom. You f your spirit feels overwhelmed by all of these thoughts, all of this kind of negative energy, all of this pessimism, cynicism almost. So what we need to do, since your mind is so active and we can't stop it, right? What we need to do is take this, this pentagram with spirit uh, being overwhelmed by all of the elements here, we need to flip this around. We need to put spirit back on top, okay? We need to put spirit back on top. And this is coming by the way of, of positive affirmations. Again, using your, your intellect for good instead of evil. Be nice to yourself. Be kind for yourself. Reassure yourself. Look at the positive things, right? Um, don't dwell on the negatives, the what-ifs the um, the potential for disaster and the negative focus on what could be the positive what are the po you know what is what good is going to come from this relationship and what are all of the pleasant good positive loving strong qualities here put spirit back on top right spirit should be at the very top to overwhelm everything else spirit needs to be in control let spirit take the wheel okay so we're gonna leave that card right side up as I like to call it um, the next card is a water sign person again. Um, it could be that they're a cancer person. It could be quite specific here. Uh, but I think they're a water sign person. I think that they are... Uh, it's almost like if, if you don't go through that threshold, you, you don't go through that doorway first, they're going to come to you, right? Because I see they're kind of aimed at you with this their heart in their hands or some gift or some they're offering something to you so it's almost like this is going to happen whether you whether you make the move or not because again i feel like they're they feel the same way about you that you do about them so i feel like they're going to uh come to you with their their energy with their heart with their love and intentions and maybe that's kind of what you're waiting for maybe you're waiting for their gesture maybe that's the nudge that you need is their their small gesture to push you just through that door, okay? So I think that is what's going to happen. Um, I, I don't know what the gesture will be, but it's gonna be something that I think is just gonna trigger a little something in you to say, yeah, okay, this was the sign that I was waiting for. This was the, this was the moment or the gesture that is that nudge we're looking for, okay? Um, but then here comes that air energy again. Gemini, you've got too much of this, too much thinking going on, too many minds right? Um, there's such thing as being too mindful, right? Sometimes we just need to let the minds go and just be, be spontaneous, be flowing, be just allow our energy to express. 
um, you know, we, we're too mindful of everything and we just ca get caught up in these details, get caught up in this web of thoughts and complexity and it's just too many minds, right? And that's kind of, that's the obstacle here and we've been saying it all along with these air cards. It's just, this is what needs to get, this is what we need to get over. We kind of need to get over ourselves. And I think this is for you a lot of this overthinking. So it's kind of going to be a practice for you or a challenge for you to let go of your thinking and your analysis, even if it's just for brief moments here and there in meditation and in some kind of activities or just wherever you can find the opportunity to stop being so mindful. Okay, just act from your energy, from your spirit, just be spontaneous. You know, be natural. Don't overthink things. Don't be too mindful. Okay? That's the challenge. What we see at the end of the Path of the Serpent is the Strength card, the Nine of Wands. This is the perfect union. Sun and Moon, the two of you coming together, I think is going to be a really strong, strong bond, strong partnership. There's a slight chance this is not romantic, but whatever kind of partnership this is, it's going to have a very strong foundation, a really strong connection, spiritual, psychic connection between the two of you, really deep, okay? And the two of you are going to be kind of like this power couple. You're going to be like feeding off of each other or fueling each other, strengthening each other, bringing out the best qualities of each other, okay? Because there's a real connection there. And it kind of in some way is going to be the two of you against the world, right? And it's the kind of strength, the kind of bond and union that the two of you can conquer the world together. It's going to have that kind of a vibe. So I really feel like there's just tremendous potential here for this, this relationship. Even again, even if it's not necessarily romantic, it feels to me like it is though, you know, but it might not be. You let me know. Leave me some comments. Let's look at this mystery card and see what the heck else we could have. I, I mean... Princess of Discs, maybe? Empress? Maybe? Maybe some cup cards. Maybe some cups. No, four of pentacles. Interesting. A um, couple of things here. Potential for this relationship to really go domestic. You know, the two of you really could take this power that you have together, right? This strength that you two find in each other's company to really build a life together. Build a home, build a family, build a business, build a fortress right? Um, so this is something the two of you can really build something together, right? That maybe doesn't have to be a house, right? Um, but the idea of building together, building a life together, very strong possibility. The other possibility is that through all of your overthinking, you are building an isolating fortress around yourself, that this person won't be able to penetrate and you eventually won't even be able to find your way out of it. It'll be like a labyrinth. Okay. So this could go, this could go a bad way and you could really cut yourself off from, from everything else. It is very isolating to be so wrapped up in your thinking, too mindful. You're creating a little fortress around yourself and I don't think we need that. I think let's look at this as building something with this person, building a life, building a relationship, building a home or a family too. All of it, business, who knows? Okay, you tell me. Uh, anyway, we're gonna do an extended. Click on the link right here. You'll have access to all of the extended readings. This was your monthly reading for February, 2023 on Dove and Serpentero.